What does the angle look like to you? What would you prefer? Bottom stairs, top of stairs. Yeah, master bedroom, top of stairs. Living room. room. Bottom of the stairs. Living room. So it's got the bottom of the stairs and uh, if it catches Marie's here walking around. Got uh, kitchen hallway, catching the hallway. In case anything. I'd like to see, see that when it's in the, in the living room. Uh, drawn further back because where he's going to be sitting is here. Okay. So, so when, 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 if he makes any kind of activity, yeah, okay, so why don't I turn this one face it towards the couch? Yeah. And then have this one here catch majority of what's going to happen here. Sure. Uh, my grill's giving off about 8 milligrams, but standard outlets. Whoa, isn't that interesting? Okay, so the wall outlet, I think, affects the fireplace. Is a 10, 10 milligrams. But as soon as you pull away from it, it doesn't radiate. The, the, the router. You know, you're getting anything between 19 to a 99. Okay, uh, the 15 milligauss from the uh, clock. It's a thought. Right now, we haven't uh, we haven't gone hot yet. We haven't gone live on the action cam. Has not been turned on yet. And I turned off the baby cam for a moment. It'll go back on as we go upstairs. I will turn on the action cam when Sandy and I do a session. Sandy will be the first one to go in that room and do a session, which obviously right now you are listening live through here. Yeah. And, she, and something happens when you're up there. Say something down here. You can have the choice as a videographer to video from down here or video up there. That's up to you. You get that motion in. Same with you. You're kind of mid-floor. If you want to go upstairs, it's fine. If you want to go back room, it's fine. Just notation verbally where you are. Yeah. Okay? And they'll be able to tell where you are because they're going to be watching. Okay? And they should probably notation. It's going to be a lot of little nicks and ticks yeah. that you're going to put down there. You're going to be able to see live on here what's happening with the EDI and with the SLS, which you have to go up and swipe every half an hour. Okay? Anything you see on that, notation. If you see the dingo balls going off, notation. You know, all that stuff. This should be watching, okay? Still time is, is, is the best time, I assure you. But everybody should have a little session. Okay, so Boomville Investigation, end of October, -ish. going hot. Carol! Or anybody else that's here. We're back. Look, there's all kinds of things around this room and out in the hallway that you could walk over, touch, speak into. There's devices that can hear your voice. Uh, it's safe to pull this down for now. It's 60 away. Uh, we can hear your voice in a multitude of ways. I probably can't with my own ears because my ears just aren't that good. We've been here a couple times, and each time you've spoken to me a little bit. My friends will all be in this room a couple times, and they'll all talk to you. Now, I'm here, and I see myself in this special screen that when I wave, it waves back. And I'm going to turn on another camera. going to record it. Now, let's point it over at the bed. So if you jump on the bed and sit with Boo Bear, it'll say hi to you. As you can see, I'm on it right now, if you're looking at it. Maybe you'd like to reach out and touch my hand. I'll put my hands wide out. I know that you're just a little boy. And what happened to you, if that's who I'm talking to, is terrible. I imagine you're probably going to be kind of quiet tonight. Do you hear the bear on the bed counting? Last time you spoke to the bear. You can do that again. I'm pretty sure 
Last time we played a game of hide and seek with you, you said we couldn't find you. Well, I know Phil's going to play that again tonight. I said, there's, a, there's a funky video over there that would show maybe if you're here, if you walk across the room, you know, if you would do this, I'm going to walk across the room. And if you could do this at some point in time tonight, when none of us are up here, that would be really a great. Holding hands again with Boo Bear? You saw you holding hands with Boo Bear? Why don't you hold my hand? Can you touch my hand? Do you know who I think you're going to talk to tonight? I bet you're going to talk to Scooby. And I bet you're going to talk to Fiona. Temperature has remained constant. Geophone has not gone off. EMF meter has not gone off. Uh, nothing of the script going across the uh, SLS. Video camera battery is about to die. Video camera battery is about to die. We have a battery downstairs. That's odd. That's a four hour battery that is fresh. Uh, Sorry, Dave, catch you It's funny you say that. The camera down here uh, for Aaron, both batteries are dying, dead. Now, uh, Scoot is, is dying. Yep. And this handheld device for the light monitor is not dying. Okay, I'll bring that down. Uh, there are other batteries for that camera, for the video camera. It, when it's on night shot, it uses more juice. Second battery was put in, it also died. Mm -hmm. Is that you? Here again, my name is Mauricio. Do you want to play something? I think he's turning off. What's turning off? I think he actually turned off the kinetic. Oh, shit. It's not showing anything. Okay. Ask him to walk towards it so I can get a turn. Uh, Richard, can you watch where to connect again, please? The battery was in the old one. Yeah, no. The battery was in the progress. Nothing's picking up, no. Okay, the ball of this flashing again, I'm not sure if it's doing it, or if you're doing that by walking across the vibration. Ah, I got Try walking, yeah, try walking that way again. Do you want to play with this ball here? Do it again? Why you don't want to do it now? Why you don't want to do it now? Because everybody is looking. Hey Terrell, buddy, how you doing? That was my voice you could hear down there. Let me take this off so I, I don't uh, don't freak you out with the mask. I'm sorry, but um, my name's Phil, and this is my friend Maurizio, and this is my friend Trish. Sorry, and we're just here to talk to you. That was my voice you heard earlier, asking you to play with that little ball on the bed. And I'm the one. Last time I was here, that you said I couldn't find you, so I'm gonna do this. Isn't that funky? Isn't that neat? Now I need you to do that for me too, please. Because I need to know... Did you say something? Yes. I need to know if you're in here with us and want to play with us. So I really, really need your help, buddy. Please. Please. 
I need you to listen really, really careful, please. And hopefully the, the voice sounds sounds um, soothing to you. And hopefully, hopefully, please, you can respond by making the ball flash, okay? So we're going to play something, and I need you to listen carefully and, and make the ball flash if you hear it okay. I think the batteries on the pad are dead. I think the bat. I think the pad's dead. Okay. Look. Oh. That was awesome. That was so cool. I don't. I don't think you could do that again, though. Because you know what? That actually kind of scared me a little bit because I wasn't ready for that one. So I need you to do that one more time, please. I'm sorry. I wasn't really paying attention, though. The, uh, can you, if you can hear, the, uh, sorry, you can't hear me. The uh, kitty ball just went off on its own. Okay. Can you please do that one more time so that this camera can see it? Because I have a friend downstairs and she's watching a video camera. And guess what? If you do that again, she'll see it down there and that'll just make our night. I'll tell you what, why don't we play a little game, okay? I'm going to ask questions, and if I'm right, you make the ball light up. Or, even better, you know what I like to do? I will let you come over here to me and take my hat off. And look at my messy funny hair, because I have to put the ball back here, and it's kind of silly. If you have ever seen it, it goes flat and it looks funny. Yeah. So you can choose to either make the ball flash or try and take my hat off. Okay? So, do you like to play with toy cars? What's your favorite toy car? Is it a like a dump truck, or a race car, or how about like the Batmobile? That's a pretty cool car, eh? Yeah, the Batmobile's pretty cool. Hmm, who's your favorite superhero? You know who mine is? Mine, when I was your age, mine was Spider-Man. Yep, I was a huge Spider-Man fan for years, and then as I got older, I liked another guy called Wolverine. I don't know if you know who that is or not. He's a little meaner, but Spider-Man was my favorite. He was pretty cool. He could like to shoot the webs and swing and stick to walls and everything. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So who's your favorite? Was it Spider-Man? Or was it Batman? Or Superman? Huh, what else can you do to try and make us laugh? Or even better, try and scare Trish. Yeah, see if you can scare Trish. That'll make me laugh. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> it takes a lot to scare me, though. It takes a lot to scare me, too. I've got little kids. Huh? Not much scares me. some 
Eddie. Was it, was it like a, like a yeah, that was like a growl. Yeah, I heard that too. I hear. I thought that was her belly. No, no oh, that it, was not my stomach. That was not my belly that time. It takes a lot to scare me, though. It takes a lot to scare me, too. Do you have a favorite song? I've got little kids. <laughs> not much scares me. What was that? Did some belly? Was, was it like a, like a weird sound? Yeah, that was like a growl. Yeah, I heard that too. I hear. All right, so um, on this investigation, we had something that happened kind of weirdly. Uh, we had what we affectionately call is these dingle balls go off. I mean, they're just a simple cat toy, right? And uh, we don't generally prescribe to a lot of uh, trigger objects making too much. Um, this particular case, uh, there's two pieces of evidence, this one and another, which I'll discuss in a moment, that seem to have some brevity to this case. But first thing I want to do here is see if I can set them off the way they were set off. In the situation that was going on in the master bedroom, uh, Phil was across the room, uh, Rizzio was sitting on the floor, and uh, Trish was filming from inside a closet about six feet away. And uh, happened to catch this. Uh, we've used these a bunch of times, never gone off. We have them on all different hard surfaces, soft surfaces. This night it was particularly on a soft surface, like a padded blanket like this. And um, so it, I want to find out how I can set these things off, uh, what the OIR lights or, or anything will make it happen. Uh, these are the very same ones. Uh, I'm putting both of them up there just to make sure that either one does get affected differently than the other one. And, uh, I, you know, because nobody was sitting on the bed so they weren't moving it, and it did go off independently on its own. So uh, I just want to make sure, uh, and you'll see. So I'm going to try, if uh, just walking around the room, the actual... Nobody kicked the bed because they were far away from it. Jumping. I'll even jump next to the bed. Okay. Nothing there either. Um, I'll kick the bed. Hauling on the bed actually doesn't. So, so like actually sitting on the bed will set. Set them off, okay? Um, but like if I'm on the bed moving around, but like, okay, but the actual compression of sitting up and down on the bed at the time will set it off. Neither one of them were sitting on the bed. Um, you know, one's more sensitive than the other, so I'm gonna. That other one will work as well, but same feature, right? It's like a, it's not even like a heat sensitive thing because like if you just touch it, it doesn't go. You've got to move it a bit. I think they're for cats. Okay. First off, that one there. I'm just going to let that run out and just touch it. Okay, so it's not it's not like heat or touch, body sensitive like that. What I'm trying next is, uh, let's see if like an IR light fits IR, IR sensitive. So I'll take one of my SEMAs here and uh, I don't know if you can see, but the light does work on it. It's on. Okay, so not IR sensitive, okay, so one of the cameras didn't set it off. I don't know if it's flash sensitive. Maybe it's flash sensitive. I don't know if we were using this camera at that time, but I'll try it. Flash is on. Okay, so it's not flash sensitive. It's, it's starting to look kind of interesting. Could it be signal sensitive? Maybe. I'll turn on one of the radios. You know, I'll try to broadcast something. Possibly the, the, an, electrical, an electrical impulse will set it off. I'll put that right in between the two of them. 
Did that ever set it off? No. Okay. So that doesn't set it off. So really, it seems to be only set by movement. Um, wind. I don't think anything was blowing like that. Uh, so really, like the only thing I could see that that thing going off, it really, you know, actually making movement of sitting on the bed, but like, I'm nudging the bed with my leg. It's going to actually be a, an actual grab and touch. And it just kind of makes, I mean, to this particular sense where this particular case, which we've been to a couple times, uh, involves a child, a documented child, not, not like less than 10 years ago being murdered there. And uh, like the other piece of evidence that we've got, uh, which, which is slim, it's, it's uh, barely, but, but the only reason why we kept it is because it's relatable. It's, uh, it's similar to the other bits of, of evidence we've got, and I'll speak to that on another, on another spot. But this, this is speaking to the cat balls that went off. Interesting. And speaking to the audio hit, uh, it's a strange little audio hit. Uh, we, we'd had a few hits that night, but um, this particular one uh, came in at less than a decibel. I don't know how we picked it up. It was because we were scanning an area where they thought they'd heard a growl, and I could audibly hear the growl, but I actually think that that growl was something plumbing or something grinding, like a, a pipe vibrating. Um, however, in that segment, we found this uh, you know, woo sort of thing. Uh, again, uh, only reason why I'm keeping it as evidence and for presentation, and you'll have to listen pretty hard to it if you can hear it at all, is because of the fact that we've gotten uh, voice results like Can't Find Me, like, like from a child, uh, and, and a counting episode after one of our trigger objects was counting. Uh, so everything kind of remains in line with, with the theme. Uh, I, I'd call it like a a 3C, it's nowhere near 1A EVP because we have to augment it too much, but um, worth keeping just because I'm not going to throw it out. Uh, we had a really, really strange night. I mean, overall uh, on this case, the, uh, the the equipment malfunctions were ridiculous. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty meticulous with charging things ahead of time. We have uh, four, four batteries for our main camera. Uh, all of which can handle four hours at each and every single battery capped. Uh, our second camera, two fresh batteries, uh, we're both, both dead within a half an hour. Um, our monitoring camera that we use uh, for the baby monitor that we spin around in the room, uh, dead in 15 minutes and it's normally good for all night to sit there. Uh, Jumping Josie's like uh, the audio. Fresh Duracells in my H2. Anybody who uses these devices know they're good for, you know, six, seven, eight sessions, dead. Uh, so, uh, like, you know, it went two hours and died. Uh, other audio, likewise, it's it's kind of funky. All of our all of our batteries killed out um, more than the norm, more than I could say. I mean, the temperature was constant. There wasn't really a dampness issue that night, and it wasn't like one piece of equipment with a bad a bad ground or something. It was it was interesting enough that to, to be noted. Uh, so yeah, there's that, you know, that's that part of the case. So they had an interesting night. I know we'll be back.